arrived at uh, the outstanding uh, lofts of uh, Mark and Alison Sherwood of Woodhouse uh, West End in, in Sheffield. Uh, pleased to meet you, Mark. All right, Steve. When did you actually get in, uh, involved with pigeons then, Mark? Uh, the first birds I ever had, when we were kids, were about seven years old. Uh, started with a little tea chest, then made a loft out and toilet doors, the old call house doors, and went from there really to obviously what, what we've got now sort of thing. But uh, I had a, a loft on Sky Edge, which you couldn't have pan tiles then because lofts were in front of each other and they were only like a six metre gap. So they were all in a straight line, so you couldn't have pan tiles, whereas here you're not obstructing anybody. So this is where we've got to set up now as pan tile roof. Very good, Mark. Who would you add, obviously, as coming into the sport, who would you look up to who's helped you in the past? You learn as you go along, Steve. I mean, I've been to some good lofts and some good fancies. Barry McNicholas, learnt a lot of Barry. Uh, Bill Egg Jr., I flew with him for a few seasons, learnt a lot of Bill. Uh, you just pick things up. I think you've got to go, keep your eyes open, and your mouth shut, and just listen to what they've got to say. And if you can get on a, a top fancier's loft and he's willing to help you, just listen to what he says and just take everything in. And, and, and you learn by your mistakes, that's the main thing, learning by your mistakes. If you don't learn by your mistakes, then you ain't going to... That's very good, that, Mark. Yeah. Uh, what clubs and organisations do you fly in at this moment in time? Uh, well, this last two seasons we've flown with the Derby Burton Fed, which has been a good Fed like. Uh, I fly with the Woodhouse Homing Society, Baiton Homing Society, and Sheffield and District Five Bird Club, which is all on the same day. Five Bird Club's now got a channel section, so we race channel and in them with that. And it's like they guarantee £500 each week, prize money. So that's my main club at the minute. That's the main club, yeah. 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 Weren't you the ice prize winning all three different in clubs all, on in that? In all oh. three clubs, which I were. I was quite surprised about really, but it, uh, it's quite an achievement because it's top fancies in all three clubs and it's top competition in all three clubs, uh, channel and sprinting. So to achieve what we achieved like and that, it were, it were a good fate sort of thing. Brilliant. Um, this year then, Mark, what, what, what would you say, up until this year, what would you say your most memorable win would be off top of your head, uh, of what you could really look back to and, and memorise? To be honest with you, Steve, there have been, they've been quite a few. I mean, the first time I ever top fed at Saints, I had two drop together. I was first and second fed. Is, uh, that would have uh, given me a good buzz sort of thing. Uh, I've had like 20 young ones drop together from a race, which also were good. But that was just inland racing. like. But I think the Saints races, when, when you've topped it at Saints, I think you've achieved a goal sort of thing. Well, I think you've had an outstanding year in Cot. What's come this year at Saints? Twelve yeah. hours and sixteen minutes in your five bird. Can you explain a little bit uh, on that breeding of the pigeon and what what made, and how <coughs> many day birds there were in that organisation that day, Mark? Is uh, it's is is a cross breed. Is a, a Van Reet on the end side, and uh, a Belgium a Belgium stray actually what dropped in about five years ago. Yeah. Reported it and uh, got no details back, <coughs> and it, that's just what you need. Just a bit of luck. Yeah. Put that pair together. He should have won the Young Bird Channel, that pigeon. But run across the pad, didn't register. I finished second with him. Uh, this year, come consistent at the channel racing before I put him down for Saints. Sent him to Saints like full Widowwood. No, no sitting, no energy, just full Widowwood. And uh, it's 12 hours, 16 minutes, like you say. It's, uh, and he didn't look touched when he come. He just didn't look touched. That's a good sign into yeah, for future. I mean, for if, it, if, if it gets a bit stiff, I'm hoping like to time in again next year. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, and then I timed the yearling end. There were no day birds in the club at, uh, at Saints on the same day, and I timed the yearling end at seven minutes past six the next morning. She was four fed, and uh, she's Van Loon cross Susan. Right. So when they say that you need these distance pigeons, just how you put them down for the job. If if they put down right. They'll come at 500. And best to best. Do you think um, you could buy success if you, you know, through actually what you've had to buy in the past and you know for future results for the, the coming se few seasons ahead? I don't think you can buy success, but you can buy the best. Yeah. And then success comes from that if you put the hard work in. Right. So if you've got, if you bought the good pigeons, 
then and you and you and you you're willing to put the hard work in success will come that's very good very good that mark what about uh, new starters coming into sport uh, any advice what would I, you I, I to, to give any help or advice that's going to start in their area find out who the best fancy is in, is in the area then go and buy some late breads or some whatever you can afford just tell him that you're willing to you, you want you're going to start up and you you want to to, to start from fresh, have you got out to let me? Even if you buy eggs off them and you've got some light to float them under, you've got to go to the best local fanciers who's doing it in the area. And once once you've got them off them, take some tips off them, which they're willing to give you tips if you yeah. ask them. Yeah. And that's the only way I can see it going forward. Can you explain the the full uh, length of these lofts, Mark? How long they've been up, and the and then into the basically the ventilation and what you're housing every individual section, please. Uh, well, the lofts are approximately it's about 75 feet long. They consist of four young bird sections and three old bird sections with one end section in the middle. Mm. Uh, I'll show you the end section at, uh, later on in the, in the video, what I do to the ends. But there's three widowed lofts, uh, 15 boxes in one, 15 boxes in the other and 12 in the other. Right. <coughs> Basically, I try and keep the channel section in one section and the two sprint sections in the other. The ends, unless one end's coming particularly like super, they all go to channel. Right. So I don't think you can beat ends at channel. The construction of the lofts, I built the Widowwood lofts myself in 1997. Uh, the young bird section was built by my previous partner, Billy. He had it built, but I, I've converted it to, with a pantile roof to suit myself and put the aviaries on and everything else. Yeah. That was done probably about 2000, when all that was altered. Uh, <coughs> and the construction, obviously, the pantile roof, this is all red cedar wood, so it don't rot, uh, with the big thermoglaze windows. I did this about six years ago, and the condition of the pigeons since I've done that is, is a lot better, because it lets a lot more heat in, and the heat stays in longer. Right. But I'll show you inside the lofts later on, and, and, and how it works and everything. But that's basically what we've got. There's uh, three double aviaries, three aviaries on the, on the front of the young bird section. Yeah. Which obviously I raised young birds on Widowwood, so yeah. I'll show you l later on what I do with that section. Like. What about these, Mark? Are these the actual trapping systems through ETS yeah, for the this actual is, old this birds? Is, yeah. Yeah, this is where the old birds trap to. Obviously, the pigeon lands walk through. I've usually got bob wires in there. They walk through onto the pad and they're timed. Uh, I put them on about probably five, six years ago now and uh, I was a bit wary at first because obviously I used to open door and swiping them the first year I had the ETS which I think you came and had a look at when, yeah, when the first yeah, thing yeah. but since I put them on there's no stress on the pigeons or anything and it, it works quite well. Do they actually face uh, south or is it just southwest due, or is it? No, they face due south uh, obviously south east is to my left hand side and south west as a turn depending on an inland racing depending where the wind comes it depends which way they come but I'm quite open here so it, they don't have a problem getting them in and they trap pretty well like to be honest with you well we've just obviously we've just viewed you only sent 10 to the actual club race yeah it was a bad so forecast just, so I only put 10 on yeah them. we've just view, uh, viewed actually four what's come for four ends haven't they they've yep. come back actually from the south west route south east the, they've come out, east, the sorry, first yeah. one come out of the south east yeah. Which the southwest come, wind, yeah. Yes, and the others have come more or less bang south. On, the other three, what we've seen. And you've got five on later on in another race, in the on, actual yes. five bird race, yeah. from Ovington. They were up an hour later. So they'll be due come in, in, yeah, in about, about an hour or so. Right. Yeah, brilliant, that. thank you. Do you, do, you clean, do you clean out on a daily uh, routine, Mark, or do you actually believe in, in deep litter or whatever throughout the uh, the lofts, five days a year? The lofts are cleaned out twice a day. Yeah. I use deep litter... If I'm going on holiday and somebody's going to look after them, I'll use deep litter on the floors yeah. for the two weeks I'm away, which is normally Christmas and New Year. Right. I'll put the deep litter down, the, young, the birds will be paired up, yeah. and then as soon as I come back off my holiday, everything's cleaned out and they're back to twice a day scraped out. Alison will do them in the morning, I'll do them at uh, tea time when I'm back, and everything's cleaned twice a day. Uh, we know we, we did mention previously you do uh, fly an electronic timing system. Yeah. What particular system do you use? Uh, I've got a Montaurus uh, a Taurus system obviously I've got a pad on each each trapping section 
and I used two pads up with the young birds. Right. <coughs> uh, pigeons come, run through. I'll show you on the inside and run through and, and the pigeons are timed. And there's no stress. The only stress is obviously getting them on and, and getting them to run through. But since I've been on Taurus, like, it's, uh, it's been a lot easier than when you're clocking in. Right. With a traditional clock. Is it uh, expensive you know, to buy to uh, get the system and the it's rings? It's as expensive you, as you want it to be, I suppose. Like, I mean, the pads are... I think 149 quid each, so obviously that's what tops all your money up. Uh, our rings are cheaper than uh, than the Unicorn ones. I think Unicorns are 140, and we're only paying one pound ten at the minute, so it's not too bad. But uh, <coughs> it's the pads what what obviously what make the, the price actual up. expense uh, yeah. larger. Right, that's very good, Mark. Yeah. Thank you. Right then, Mark, we've got a few principal pigeons. Your first one, all the, these are all Saints winners, or, or should I say Fed winners. Can you tell yeah. exactly what this Blue Ends won uh, in total and what breeding she is, please? Uh, she's a pure Janssen. Uh, the dam to this pigeon had three second Feds and two first Feds racing, then obviously put to stock. And the sire, the Orcad, the year he bred this end. The nestmate to this uh, topped the Fed from Pointiers on the same day this end topped it from Saints for Ordin Brothers of Leeds. Uh, just a, a racing machine when it comes to channel racing. She won first section, fifth open, North Midland Continental as a young bird on a really hard day, ten and a half hours on wink <laughs> as a young bird. Uh, and that race won with the averages for that thousand pound, which I got 1380 quid with pool money. And then last year, uh, liberated with my other Saints winner. Well, she went up half an hour before, sort of half an hour after, and, t and licked them with 15 minutes. So she was like 45 minutes in front of the other Saints winner. And he was a Fed winner? And he topped the Fed. He would have topped the Fed, and the Fed what they went in with a five birder. Right. So I had two Fed toppers from Saints. Same day. On the same day. She won the first year last year. They had a gold medal in the in the Fed, and obviously she won the first gold medal. Beautiful, thing. super in, super in everything in hand. And she's flew Saints again this year, Mark, aren't she? She were <coughs> there were no, there were no day birds in the club, and she finished second club, six Fed at uh, twelve minutes past six the next morning. So she was sixth federation this year, yeah. first federation last year, yes, and, her mother, and her mother's two first federations, three, three second, second federations, feds. and yeah. only flew on the inland programme yeah. due and, to how good she were. And when she had the three second feds, I was beat on the trap with a lad in front of me. She were here, she were here to top it, just I got beat on the trap. So it could have had five first feds. Could have had five first. Th yeah, that's my old family of pigeons, yeah. They were, they, these are the typical. But they went from inland and they went from 500 miles. Right then, Mark, what's this, this second pigeon, what you've got in? in <coughs> this is the, the cock, what would have... We get transported with a five bird club, we're another fed. Right. And uh, I had two in two minutes last year, dropped together in two minutes yeah. from... I think 13 hours 18 were the first one. So which 527 miles. 527, then I got one two minutes after. They were first and second club, and when the result come out from the fed, what they go with, they would have been first and second fed. So basically, I would have had two fed toppers from Saints on the same day. Right. Uh, I sent eight pigeons that day and times six in on the okay. night. Brilliant. But uh, you've flown Saints again this year. You had 15 and a quarter hours on the wing and uh, just a good pigeon. So he's basically a first fed winner as, as last year. It's flown to Saints now, two year running yeah, on the day. 15 and three quarter yes. hours. It takes some pigeon to stand yeah, there yeah. without dropping on houses. I mean, they're yeah. very, very rare, aren't they? <coughs> right, what's this one then, Mark? Uh, this is the yearling cock, what won me Saints this year, which obviously Saints to me, as you know, is 527. Uh, 12 hours, 16 on the wing. Come fresh as a day as it didn't even look like it'd been anywhere. Uh, should have won the Young Bird Channel last year, but run over the pad and didn't register, so I finished second win. But first time at 500 this year and come and won it. <coughs> and we what we've heard in the Fed, what we're taking him, he would have topped the Fed in that as well. But as I say, he's only a yearling, so he's got a, a lot more flying to do for me yet.
a lovely balanced pigeon as well, like the previous two yeah. pigeons were handled. But obviously they've got to be when they're flying nearly 530 miles on the day. I mean, uh, extreme distances like that, they take some finding and it's very rare to fly them. You don't get many day birds in each and every loft. To, and when you get them, the, the, the extreme pigeons aren't yeah. in the first place. Exactly. I do believe even even in the Northern Classic, they're all up in, in that organisation. Yeah, they're all in the same. They're one pigeon to beat them in They'd the Classic. They'd have been second open Northern yeah, Classic, first open. federation in the other yeah. fed on velocity. So yeah. it's some pigeon in it. Yeah, they're all up together, all up at the same time. Yeah. So that's all you can go on, really. But obviously he won, he won the club where he went in. That's right. So he didn't ever think what he asked for. Yeah, yeah. Right, Mark, this is your fourth principal pigeon. <coughs> this is a, another yearling hen. Uh, First club, four fed saints. There were only three pigeons on the day. She was the first pigeon the next morning. Obviously, she, she won the club uh, and was uh, four fed. Same again, though, Steve. Another yearling in, flying 527 miles. What particular breed is this one, then, Mark? She's a Sojan on the end side and a Van Loon on the cock side. Sojan Van Loon, yeah. I do believe you only breed off your very best breeders anyway. Yeah, I mean... This, this is put to the yearling cock. Yes, that's what's, paired to the yearling cock. What, were 12 hours, 16 minutes. So basically two Saints winners. Yeah, and the other two what both topped the Federation last year, both, both paired, paired together. together as well. Best to best, only best yeah, to best. Yeah. It's only time, chance you're it's going to get these champions, you know, coming through from following years. It's like, it's like math, you're not going to run a marathon runner out of uh, exactly. uh, 100 metres once, runners. <coughs> once you've got them 500 mile pigeons, it's, it's keeping hold of them. Yeah, because I think they're very rare. They're few and far between, especially coming on the day and all. You've got to, if you don't date, you don't, it's not really, to me, like an arm. You know, she, she's won Saints and that when she went first pigeon the next morning, but she couldn't have been far away for doing it on day, they how early she come the I next don't morning. Think that. Yeah, that's right. There weren't that many on day anyway. Three. There were only three. three. She was the next pigeon. Very good. Can you tell me a little bit about <coughs> this? Uh, this this is uh, pretty well known in this area. It's called Miss Monster. Uh, I've only ever raced a reel in the Five Bird Club, and I would say over the last three seasons, I must have had three and a half, four thousand quid off her. Brilliant. Just racing alone. Uh, I think she's had about five, maybe six wins. Uh, I've only ever sent her to the Fed three times. And she's been first Fed, fifth Fed, and I think ninth Fed. And that's the only other time she's ever been to the Fed. But on two of them occasions, she won the club as well. Right. So she was obviously first club, first Fed, first club, ninth Fed. <coughs> and just a super pigeon like, I mean, last year, in the five bird club, at the 11 races, 11 times in the prizes. Brilliant. She's a, a pure Janssen, the same, but she's better off a, a channel, uh, the, the cock up there, what was second fed, uh, first fed from Fagers. By 20 minutes. By 20 minutes. Paired onto a, a direct power. End. Right, your last, uh, your last of your six pigeons uh, for for the actual uh, camera, uh, Mark. What can you explain? Is it looks like to this, me a, a blue cock? Yeah, this is a blue cock. Uh, <coughs> bred by F and T Salt. It's one of the the surgeons what I've had off him. Uh, he's had five firsts. He won a, a race this year, two thousand and three hundred yards a minute. We're doing. I think he won the club with about four minutes. Right. On a fast and like that, he was that far in front. This was a five bird club. Uh, he's had about five first bit. <coughs> I've put him together this year, obviously, for his finger to, to the monster then. Basically, winner to winner. Soldier into Mark, yeah? So, pure soldier. Yeah. Speed machine, yeah. I mean, you don't get no better loss than uh, F and D salt or Kimberley. But last year, I sent two cocks off John to 527. One was second club and would have been second fed in the fed we went with. And the other one, uh, I think, was fifth club and would have been about 19 fed. Right. So I've had them up to 500 mile, these pigeons. Just on their own, we're out Just on their own. 
pure off John, like pure off John. Beautiful. Well, thank you.